Okay, so what we're looking at here is the uh, Neo Plus 2. It has an internet connection. It has a USB. Now the USB is going to split that. In one direction it's going to a power supply. In the other direction it's going to a hard drive. That's not really relevant to what we're doing here, but uh, that's part of uh, the stuff that we've been talking about on the web. Right, so what you will see here is the light that's flashing on and off, and that is directly connected to the, uh, the Neo. That's part of the uh, on-off uh, library and the node um, that we discussed. So here's the node. There's a one-second timer there. Um, doesn't belt anything out in particular. Um, that function is toggle toggles the output on and off and that goes straight out to that um, GPI or C2 and that's what you see flashing here. Okay, so this mess here, what that is, is very simple. I have a function that I've written that works with the I squared C uh, library, uh, which is running on the Nano. I can output values of 0, 80, and 255, just arbitrary values, for um, PWM on each of three outputs. And then I have an input there that can turn them all on at once. And this will show you the peripheral uh, in action. So first of all, let me show you briefly the functions. As you can see, very straightforward. That's all discussed in the blog. Um, the only difference between these three are three different port numbers, 9, 10, and 11 on the uh, Nano itself. So if I was to press that 255, uh, 3, 2, 1, go, what you'll see is all three lighting up. Now, uh, one of the features that are built into the uh, PWM on the little Nano there, uh, there's two versions of it. One is just straightforward PWM uh, change from one value to another. Uh, and the other one, mainly for um, lighting, etc., is uh, soft fade. So if I was to turn these off one at a time, I'll show you what happens as I do it. So there's one two and three and as you can see I'll turn them on one two and three that's a nice soft fade uh, I've used a lookup table to uh, make it look as neat as I possibly can and so that's uh, that's where we are that's what we're doing right now uh, with the nano the peripheral uh, that's discussed in the blog and of course the node red and some of the fabulous uh, library material that we now have access to for gpio and i2c thanks for watching and read the blog all the information you need will come up on the screen